So now we get on to the four developers to explore. Now, do we, does anyone want to have a look at the four developers to explore or do they want to talk about something else? Ask some questions, ask, ask to hear some more about something. What have you read on other people's blogs that say this is new in WordPress about emojis? What's the Trimoji thing? Uh, could you just briefly go through the theme dot, Jason? Um, that'll be useful, actually, just to okay. find out a bit more about that, please. Thank you. Well, we can go through the the my example, which is very small, and then we can have a look at the the dev notes for it, and then we can look in my version in sneak peek dot me, or look at the real dev notes. So, theme dot JSON is an, is something where you can define the settings of the website and the default style of the website or the, of the theme. So there's five different sections to a theme.json file. The first one is, is the version, and that's all it currently contains, version one. And then there's the settings section, and there's a styles section, and then there's two more. One is to do with called custom templates, and another one is to do with template areas, which is for full site editing. And the purpose of having the custom templates and the template areas thing I believe is to enable you to specify where the custom templates can get used. So if you're going to say this custom template can only be used on pages and this one can be used on pages and posts and other different custom post types, then you can configure that in there. It also provides the capability of giving the US English language version, which can then be translated into the theme users own language so that then they can see that your template is not called full screen but it's called and i can't think of any language that i can say full screen in apart from english what's full screen in russian olga You know, it's a tricky question. Screen, it's also a screen. screen. We are using English words. All right. So. Then. Well, then um, we could have it written down as check color. This is the template name you've chosen, and you're going to translate that into English as check color, where check is spelt differently and color is spelt differently. And we can see color is spelt without a U in American. So this simple theme.json file says um, globally I want to define this, the settings that the custom color is now something that you can apply for any block that has the capability of doing colors and then this override is no longer an override says that for the paragraph block I can set custom color. So if I was to change that to false, that would say that you can set custom color on anything apart from a paragraph block. So we've learned something today that by setting that to false meant we couldn't use custom colors in our duo tone thing, which is probably what we expect. Now it's, there's a lot more to it than that. And the place we look for the documentation of theme.json is we go back to the PowerPoint. And go and visit that link there, make.wordpress.org, introducing theme.json in WordPress 5.8. Do you want me to follow that link, Mike, or can you do it yourself? I'll just take a snapshot of it, unless you can drop it in the chat. Uh, that'll be good. Uh, I've got to, get, I've got to get it out of here. Control click to follow link. Right. 
Brilliant. Thank you very much. Uh, I sit now share that that we can see this is the example I had, and it tells you about. Does it tell you about it? How to set custom right. palettes and what sort of CSS variables it generates. And so it goes on. In fact, that's not a that's not the full documentation. Yeah. Okay. So there must be some further links that we sure. Yeah. It's a good starting point anyway. Yeah. Um, if we go to sneakpeak.me. I've documented it slightly differently from how WordPress has done it. I put it into a table and we go here. So there's the five different settings. Uh, these are different things that you can define settings for. So not only do you have custom colors, but you can also say whether or not you are allow allowing duotone or gradients and typography with a different size of font and different color of uh, height and weight and all sorts of things. And then you get down to each individual block, you then override the, def the values you set originally. And then you go and set the styles where you say, okay, then so for, for my website, the foreground color and the background color are going to be this. And you can change that to a different color and lo and behold, your website changes to the color that you've chosen. I'm just calling that up now actually that page to have a look so as you can see i did actually build a theme put a theme.json file into this theme which is a child theme of 2017 and lo and behold it started changing the behavior of the website so it was being loaded up and making use of it and i imagine that it will be generating the, the css that it needs for some things on the fly rather than in queuing the style sheet which is how it's going. So there'll be just in time CSS being delivered for each individual block and reducing the number of requests that are being made to the server to make the website a bit faster. And, um, well, yeah, make, theoretically making the website a bit faster. So you won't need to have your CSS minify routines because all of this has been generated dynamically. Okay. It's interesting. Right, um, back to the. Yeah, thank you for that. Huh? Now, where are we now? That was themed up, Jason. 